Any YouTube video you see are filmed in my house. My parents are not at home. Imagine I'm filming like a makeup tutorial or something and I get to some point and then I hear Daphna and I'm like, Ma, what am I going to do? Am I going to clean the entire makeup? Like maybe if I have a brand deal and I have to go out and take pictures or like I have to go and do something outside the house. I have to lie and say, oh, I'm going to see a friend. I'm going to buy something at the mall and then I have to put my clothes in my bag. Like at this age, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all. It's given the Thundermans like living a double life is giving Casey undercover is giving some spiders be for those who think I quit YouTube I'm sorry to burst your bubble I haven't quit YouTube at all it was just a break I guess I was just taking a break damn Ghana is so fucking hot Jesus I thought this break was going to be longer than this i didn't know i was going to come on youtube this early but um i really really missed you guys and i was losing my mind and i was like let me just like come back and talk to you guys god damn it what the f i'm so what anyways what was i saying sorry i'm so sorry give me a second hmm. water is live damn oh yeah this is water i'm just trying to be bougie let me tell y'all why i haven't been creating content at home okay see let me tell you something creating content in the house is very hard okay especially when you have strict parents this is the case my parents don't know that i'm doing content creation they don't know i'm doing youtube they don't know i'm doing social media content creation influencer whatever right and if they found out i am dead they'll probably like break my tripod or like whatever i'm gonna tell my social media or something like that because um they don't believe in those things you know i don't know if um, anyone can relate any influencer at all or any content creator at all <laughs> it's given it's given the thundermans like living a double life it's giving casey undercover it's giving some spiders me because like i have to I have to hide like i've been doing this since 20 I guess 2020 i've been doing instagram since 2020 i guess and then youtube since 2022 and i'm still shocked if not found out i'm shocked no one has sent i'm not saying anyone i beg you i'm not saying anyone should send my videos to them and say oh do you know your daughter is doing this no i'm just saying like i'm shocked if not found out and i'm glad they haven't because they'll kill my vibe you know i don't know what to tell them i don't want to be rebellious and be like i'm gonna okay i will tell them that like i'm gonna do this and that's fine you can't tell me shame i'm waiting for the right time maybe when i move out or something to tell them that listen this is what i do and you'd have to deal with it and it's not anything bad it's not like i'm stripping on the internet or something so like please calm your tatas you know but for now now that i'm under their roof i don't want them to know it's better they don't know so yeah i'm living like a double life right now like imagine i'm filming like a makeup tutorial or something and i get to some point and then I hear Daphna and I'm like ma what am I going to do am I going to clean the entire makeup go and check what she she's calling me for and then come back and continue what do I do like any YouTube video you see are filmed in my house my parents are not at home trust me they, they've either gone out or they've traveled and I time them I'll ask them oh when are you coming back they'll probably say oh in the next hour or two as soon as they leave I just pick my tripod fast I just do it fast so like this is what I'm doing for you guys like I'm sacrificing for you guys so i'm not like guilt tripping you guys to subscribe but like i'm just saying <laughs> see let me explain to you guys why i'm sure by now you guys are like why does he just tell him just tell him my dad doesn't like we posting on social media he feels like posting yourself on social media is you exposing yourself to mommy water dancing <laughs> there's no good you have to be private blah, blah blah and i get that vibe i get that like it's really cool to be private it's like low-key but but i and i wish i could do that but like unfortunately that's not me 
that's not me that's not what i want to do and that's fine my brother on the other hand is like that he's very if you go on his ig you don't see any posts like he's like that he's not even on snap like you know but i'm the opposite i i, I like to show people what i'm about like take pictures edit you know i love all those things it's my it's my stuff like that's my shit there have been so many instances where like maybe you know those times when we're in jhs when we're on facebook there have been instances where like maybe i posted on facebook and i don't know how maybe someone take a screenshot and send it to or something but he'd be like what is this like so why did you post like today not to post it? <laughs> what you know but like i <sighs> wow i used to do that for fun but like now how am i going to explain to them that i'm posting pictures for money it sounds like some only fans shit i don't know it's just really hard I, like it's really hard creating content over here like maybe if i have a brand deal and i have to go out and take pictures or like i have to go and do something outside the house i have to lie and say oh i'm going to see a friend i'm going to buy something at the mall and then i have to put my clothes in my bag like at this age i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all so i got this gig like most of you know Kani Kalon called me and was like, you do a shoot down things. And I was like, of course, what do you have to, if you ask, yes, I am there. Forgetting that, I now have to ask permission from my parents. So I was thinking about it. I was like, I can't tell my dad that I am going for a shoot. My challenge was that they were like, we should come by 7 a.m. And then I can't say I'm coming to visit a friend by 7 a.m. They'll tell me to wait till like 11, 12. I needed a story that would make them allow me go out at 7 a.m. My best friend and I talked about it and she was like, just tell them we are coming for a naming ceremony. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. So she even came to the house, spoke to my dad. My dad was like, oh yeah, okay, sure. I mean, whatever. Then no, he changed his mind. He said, I'm not going anywhere. I said, she says, what am I going to do now? I've already like accepted a contract. What am I going to do now? I called my boyfriend, I was crying on the phone, he was like, calm down, let's think of another way. That's how he is, so like, he, we are not panicking, let's calm down. But me, I'm always like, and baby, and baby, and baby, and baby, he's like, babe, calm down, one thing at a time, let's talk, let's figure the way out, let's do this. I was there now, and I was like, let me come up with another light immediately. I could even sleep midnight too. In the morning, like, around 6 a.m., I came to tell him that, like, oh, daddy, um, today i have to go somewhere i have to do makeup for some people that was a lie i had to i have to do some makeup for some people because they are having a shoot and then they said i'm very good at doing makeup so i should come and help them out because like the people doing the makeup are not plenty and my dad was like are you sure let me see the pictures of the makeup you've done so far i went to go and take some makeup videos be from god knows where i showed it to him i was like oh, okay 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 nice work nice work so he was like i should enter the car you take me to that exact location luckily for me when we got to the location he saw the cameras he saw the photographers he saw all those people he saw the girls doing makeup and stuff so he everything looked legit to him he was like okay okay fine then come back around this time and i was like oh my god thank god thank god he allowed me because if he didn't allow me to go it would have pained me this is what i'm talking about there's no freedom like so, so imagine he had said no and sometimes it's so discouraging like sometimes it's just like oh let me just like give up like i said i wasn't i didn't think i was going to pick my phone and record a youtube video anymore from now oh they've traveled by the way <laughs> They've traveled, but I didn't think I was gonna pick up my phone to do a YouTube video anymore from now. I thought I'll wait till I leave the house, maybe in a year or two, before I start all over again because I hate inconsistency. I don't want a situation where what if they don't travel for four months? It means no YouTube video for four months. So if they travel like twice a year, it means I'm giving you YouTube video twice a year, you bab. Like I'm just really trying my best here. And I know lots of people a lot of you would like be given ideas oh why don't you do this why don't you do that it's not even about that like at the end of the day everything is just discouraging it's like oh like it's so annoying and also i'm in my final year right now so i'm like let me just like concentrate on my final year and pass my last and for all because this course is very very like stressful Bob. so like i just want to finish it once and for all graduate and go and get my own place and focus on content creation you know this past few weeks have been hell in school i'm at home now and i just became so overwhelmed i just shut down content creation restricts parents brah burn out oh my god like it got to a point saying i didn't even want to open my youtube anymore i didn't want to watch even other creators anymore like when i'm watching Gisela, i'm like hey see consistency hey she's a consistency queen bro no one no one can compete with that girl man hey I watch it like this, then 
every week that she's given us she's given i'm like hey I got to a point i just didn't even want to watch youtube anymore crap because i was feeling like like i wasn't doing what I, I was called to do <laughs> what the messiah called me to do i was feeling so bad i was like ah like by now she'll be creating content i'm just like burn out burn out burn out burn out, burn out. you don't even know what to film safe like see let me give you an example see gisela dems they're making money gisela is working two jobs as in like she's working like um she's doing content creation and she's also working she has a night five so obviously the money is there because you see her videos are packed either she's she has a content creation gig or she has to go to work or she's going grocery shopping or she's going out with her friends she even has friends you bum like she's interesting to watch her videos are very interesting to watch me like this i don't really have friends i hardly go out i don't have money i don't have money i don't have money at all so basically i'm in the room all day so i should put my tripod down and be like you guys should watch me watch movies or come along with me as we bath like i like my life is so boring so it's like what am i filming and sometimes like i feel like i feel like you guys might be tired of the sit down videos because i don't even really have anything interesting to say see <laughs> you don't have money you don't have anything doing with your life charlie like content creation is so fucking annoying like charlie get money uh. you feel like you can say get ready with me as i'm going on a weekend trip to akosumbo then maybe go and book a hotel then charlie you are vlogging or maybe birthday prep uh-huh you see those videos or prep with me for my birthday aha uh -huh. then like charlie you see like them they are doing their nails their lashes and uh -huh. or maintenance vlog aha uh -huh. then you know that yeah you don't have money charlie enough you do charlie you bob so right now charlie so i was like let me just wait when i grow up uh, then charlie i'll have things to do then like you, you guys will be seeing me but for now the, i can't be filming in my room but it's still what I want to do. Like I said, I'm not quitting anytime soon. I don't want to quit. I don't want to quit. Breaks I might take. I don't want to quit. About the content creation burnout. Um, it's okay to take breaks. It's okay to take breaks. Don't overwhelm yourself. I know sometimes you see people being consistent and you, like you feel very guilty. You're like, oh my god, like I also want to be consistent and stuff like that. But when you are going through stuff and you create content your viewers can tell your viewers can tell that it's not a definite that we know something like that like they can sense your mood of being off and stuff and it makes the thing some ways why don't you just take a break go and deal with your shit and come back and we'll be waiting for you we'll watch you darling we will also remember your passion like remember why you started content creation in the first place but i have to remember why you started and um it remind you that Content creation is fun. It's fun. It's fun. No, it's fun. It's just that the circumstances and you know those things. And um, what else? Set realistic goals. Set realistic goals. Sometimes I'm part. Sometimes we start comparing ourselves to these big big influencers or content creators, and we're like, eh. Hey. Charlie, me too, I want to be like this, me too, I want to be like that. You are a thousand subscribers and you're like, by the end of the month, you want to reach 100,000. So if you don't reach 100,000 and you see yourself like panicking, you're like, Charlie, you have not been doing it. No, Charlie, for chill, like calm down. It will happen. Mr. Beast, it took him 13 years, 13 years for him to get to where he is right now. You bow. Charlie, it's okay. Like, if it's take you a year, so like, it's your journey. Like, forget about them. Yeah, and about the strict parents thing. Honestly, I don't have any advice for it because honestly, I don't even know what to do myself. Like, it's very difficult. It will be less difficult when I finally tell them that, look, this is what I'm doing. But I feel like, why tell them when I might be leaving soon? It makes it look like we're not serious. Like, this YouTube thing, we're not serious. And I really feel bad sometimes so it's like people have taken their time their credit to their data to subscribe and i'm treating them like you know i don't like that thing but it's really not my fault like i just hope people can relate honestly and it's aside that to like i don't want to talk about this because like people don't really give a fuck okay but my mental health too i really prioritize my mental health my mental health is number one before anything else and sometimes, Charlie, the anxiety just kicks in and I don't know what to do about it. And it makes me shut off and shut down. And uh, so, like, it's very difficult to pick up a phone. Sometimes I'm so unmotivated, Charlie. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I'll see you guys some other time. I promise. I'll, I'll see you guys some other time, honestly. Yeah. Bye.